still wouldn't consider driving. Really? You. I need more power. The all-new RAV4 Hybrid has 194 net horsepower. Why? Wouldn't you? The all-new RAV4 Hybrid. Toyota. Let's go places. Don't answer the phone. Elvis, 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 Sorry, my bad. Phone tap. All right, Danielle, what's your phone tap all about? All right, so Stephanie wants to play a phone tap on her roommate, Cynthia. She wants Cynthia to take the blame for her smoking again because she got busted again. So uh, it's going to start out with the two of them talking, and then I'm going to call his campus security. All right, here we go. Today's phone tap. Uh, hey, can you please do me a huge favor? Yeah, what? So I got caught smoking again, and campus police just called, and they're on their way to our room, and if I get caught one more time, I'm going to get kicked out, and I need you to say it with you. What is wrong with I will you? Pay, you? I will pay your fine. It won't matter at all, but if Wait, I what? get caught, I'm going to get kicked out. Whatever. What? Please, come on. I'm going to get kicked out of school. Why are you putting me in this position? Because um, you're my friend, and I thought you would help me, and I didn't Yeah, help. you're a friend wouldn't put me in this position. You're my friend and you're on my right. I'm asking you for some help and you're just blowing me off. This isn't just, this isn't just pick me up from the library help. This is like crazy, like I could get kicked out. I gotta go. All right, we just hung up on her. She doesn't want to help you. <laughs> no, she definitely doesn't. So wow. I'm gonna now call her from the school and I'm gonna tell her that you basically threw her under the bus. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. Hello? Um, yes, hi, I'm looking for Cynthia Pelloch, please. Hi, yeah, that's me. Hi, Cynthia. This is Mrs. Malloy calling from Campus Security. Hi. You're in room Sishiro over in Marillac, right? Right. Well, first of all, we saw smoke coming from underneath the door, and so obviously, you know, security got called and we got involved. We got a warrant to search your room, and we found cigarettes in your drawer. I'm in my drawer? Yeah, my we, dresser? Yeah, we interviewed your roommate, Stephanie, who was there, and she told me that, um, you know, she said it was fine to look through everything. And I asked her whose furniture it was, and she said that it belonged to you. So I opened up the top drawer, and inside was some cigarettes. Oh, well, I don't smoke, so that's impossible. I, those were Okay, cigarettes. seriously, if you don't smoke, why were cigarettes in your drawer? I, I love my roommate. She's a really sweet girl. Okay. But I, I think she's lying right now. Because... Okay, first of all, it's not really nice now to lie. You know, you're lying, obviously, and it's not very nice to say that your roommate I'm sorry. is lying. I feel like you're being really inappropriate because... You don't even understand the situation. You don't know me. You don't know my history. I don't I need don't, to know oh. your history. All I need to know is when I opened up that top drawer, there they were. There were the cigarettes. That's well, all I need to know. Then that was a mistake. Then my roommate accidentally put her cigarettes in my okay. dresser. Okay, why would your roommate be in your underwear drawer? That is a really good question. I don't know, but I just feel like I, I don't want to be... You know, we have candles in there. It was probably just candles. You know, this and is going to go on your permanent record, the fact that you're lying to me. You realize no, that, right? No, you can't do that. Oh, yes, I can. I can do all, anything I want. Are you kidding? Who is, who are you? Like, I feel like a kid right now. Like, this is, I've never well, dealt with when you me. act like a child and break rules, then you're going to be treated like a child. Well, I'm not happens. lying. I was set up and I'm... Uh, oh, give me a break. What do you think this is, an episode of CSI, A Criminal Mind? You were set up? Give me a break. Well, are you? Like, I'm head of security. That's all you need to know. <laughs> she totally thinks you sold her out. So it is so hard to get that all going. I mean, <laughs> oh, she's oh, she's calling me. Okay, Hold on. okay, don't don't pick okay. it up. Don't pick it up. We'll okay. call her back. But it's gonna be you talking. Okay. Hey, hey, did you just call? Yeah. What the f are you doing? I just got to whoa. I'm getting harassed by campus security. I thought you said you were going to tell the truth. I slipped out. I'm so I just... Yeah, like, I'm I, I now. What the f*** are you doing? Why is this so ridiculous? Calm down. Calm, please try to see it from my... Own. Now I've got to deal with that psycho woman and... This hey, is hey, what it is. hey, I don't like to be called psycho woman. Hello? Is this the security lady? No, this is actually Danielle Monaro from Elvis Duran in the morning show, and you just got phone tapped. Oh, my God, you bitch! Are you serious? <laughs> oh, yeah, my oh, God, boy. I... Kill you. She knew I oh, was not my... so funny. You didn't know what yeah, Are you kidding me? Oh my <laughs> god. Oh my god. Yes. So pissed right now. That was excellent. Good job. This phone tap was pre recorded with permission granted by all participants. Elvis Duran and the Morning Show phone taps. Bringing families together while tearing their homes apart.